More than 100 people showed up at the Ohio History Center for the pep rally to cheer on Penn State for their top 10 matchup against the Buckeyes. Uh, we try to get to an away game at least once a year, and we thought this was a big game, so we came out to root our Lions on. The food, photos, and fun has everyone hyped up for tomorrow. It's great to have this kind of support to support our student athletes as they go on the road and uh, you know try to shock the world by beating the Ohio State Buckeyes. They didn't forget their Penn State gear. Uh, there are just some Penn State games that I was at previously up at Penn State. Uh, some oldies but goodies. Okay, so this one says bye bye Buckeyes. And this one says Lions snack on Buckeyes. So what, what do you, which one do you like the best? Bye bye Buckeyes. Sharon Ramsey lives here in Columbus, but she's from Lake Wall and Paw Pack. This Saturday's game makes her feel right back at home. Oh yeah, I'm active because I live in enemy territory and everywhere around me is red and, and red and, you know, scarlet and gray. So I have to have blue around me to survive. <laughs> One fan hustled back from Brazil just to be here for the game. I've been in all the Big Ten stadiums except this one and said I'm going this year and had a business trip to Brazil, but you know, just arranged to make sure I got back here in time for the game. The mission of the Ohio History Museum is to preserve history here in Ohio. Penn State has been playing Ohio State going all the way back to 1912. But forget history, Penn State trying to move on from last year's heartbreaking loss and win here in Columbus for the first time since 2011. Ron Snyder, Newswatch 16 Sports, Columbus, Ohio.